In 2009, Norway introduced a landfill ban on biodegradable waste. To ensure a long-term, environmentally responsible treatment of this waste, municipalities in Agda have built a modern incineration facility at Langemir, five kilometers north of Kristiansand. Every day, several hundred tons of waste from households and businesses are transported to the Retourcraft plant. More than 130,000 tons of waste are incinerated every year. The waste is used to generate energy equivalent to the annual consumption of almost 20,000 households. Retourcraft is an energy recovery facility, which means that the waste is not simply incinerated, energy is also extracted from it. Inside the boiler, there are almost 100 kilometers of water pipes. Water is heated to 270 degrees Celsius, which is the boiling point at a pressure of 50 bar. The steam created is then superheated to a temperature of 425 degrees Celsius. Flue gas cleaning is a complicated, but nevertheless vital process. Retourcraft uses best available technology to keep emissions at record low levels well within the limits imposed by Norwegian and European authorities for this type of facility. The first stage of the cleaning process is a so-called bag filter. A bag filter operates on the same principle as a vacuum cleaner. The pollutants are captured inside the bags, whereas the flue gas continues through the system. No fewer than 903 bags trap dust, heavy metals and dioxins. The next stage of the cleaning is a catalytic converter. The converter is used to reduce NOx emissions, which is the most environmentally harmful substance in the flue gas. NOx emissions at Retourcraft are amongst the lowest in the industry. The final stage of the cleaning process involves the use of what is known as a scrubber. In the scrubber, the flue gas passes through a mist of water. The scrubber removes chlorine and sulfur compounds, as well as any residual dust and heavy metals that may have escaped the bag filter. Finally, the treated flue gas is released into the atmosphere via a 75-meter tall chimney. The plume of smoke consists of white odorless fumes, primarily comprising water vapor, CO2, nitrogen and oxygen. Let's now consider how the energy is used. The steam from the boiler drives a turbine, which converts the steam energy into rotational energy. The turbine is connected to a generator, which converts the rotational energy into electrical power. This electricity is then fed into the national high-tension grid. There is still a lot of energy left. This is used to heat water, which is fed into the city of Kristiansand's district heating network. One pipe contains hot water, which is delivered to the city. This water is under high pressure and holds a temperature of 80 to 120 degrees Celsius. In another pipe, the water returns to Retourcraft as cool water, ready to be reheated. Smaller diameter pipelines feed water into customer substations from the main pipes. At these substations, the district heating water passes through two heat exchangers. One heat exchanger is used for hot tap water, the other is used for heating the building. From the customer's substation, the water is distributed by the building's own pipe network. The living room may be heated via a water-based underfloor heating system. In the bathroom, the system provides hot water for showers and sinks, in addition to underfloor heating. Radiators may be used for room heating as an alternative to underfloor heating. The cooled water is then circulated back to the customer's substation to be reheated. On the other side of the heat exchanger, the district water has now delivered its thermal energy and returns to Retourcraft. 